Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. Check it out. Bitcoin's at 71,000. Looks like it might hit 72,000, right? This is crazy. This has never happened before in history. Um, yeah, so it's like really late right now. I'm a little tired, but if you do cryptocurrency, you know, late at night is when you get a chance to make a little money. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why, but cryptocurrency likes to wake up at night sometimes. It is what it is. But I've been doing this for three years now and to see, um, well, four now, so, and to see um, Bitcoin at 71,000 breaking its previous all-time high, which was about three years ago, is like crazy. Or four years ago. Yeah, so like I was going on for it, but yeah. This is just crazy because it's been like, if you see, you know, if you go to all-time high, or all-time now, all-time high, if you go to all-time chart, um, as you see, uh, this is the daily, this is seven day, monthly, yearly, all time. This is how you read a chart from past, you know, all the way to present. You get what I'm saying? So this is how you can make your money, y'all. I'll give y'all a little, uh, and this is not financial advice, by the way. You know, I'm not a financial advisor. I have to say that legally. But anyways, but everything I tell you, you can definitely look up and see for yourself. But, uh, yeah, so this is how you make money. You feel me with this? So, Yeah. You have to learn how to read the charts. But regardless of all that, as you see, Bitcoin was super low. About a year, uh, two, uh, almost a year and a half, two ago. No, no, not uh, two, about a year and a half ago. Yeah, about a year and a half ago. About a year and four, 20 to be exact, November 12th, 2022, through like December. Like, 25th or yeah so yeah 2022 so that whole month right it was really low 16,000 right Oof. if you would have bought back then and you would have held all the way to the top you know you'll be pre doing pretty good right now right and a lot of other altcoins thank god you know we were you know into this a long time ago way before that but my point is to see it at this breaking its all-time high as you can see this is the last time it was at that high a while ago and I was in crypto. And now to see this is like just basically history. You know what I'm saying? Not basically, this is history because like I told you, crypto is definitely going to be the future of banking and the next layer of the internet. And I've explained that on my previous video. Go watch that. Not about to do it right now. Um, but yeah, this is cool, man. Seeing this. It's very cool. And yeah, let's just watch this together. I might let this time lapse or something and just let it just keep recording, you know, for a while or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Let's just watch this, right? Watch this history in the making. Yeah, man. This is cool. I like this. Who knows? Bitcoin could be at 75000 in the morning. But, um, oh, let's do a price prediction, right? What do I think Bitcoin can go through this cycle? Because, obviously, you know, it's a cycle with Bitcoin. It's a four-year cycle. Um, the reason why they say that is because, I'll do a video on that, too, because of the halving that happens every four years. Obviously, you know, it's only 21 million Bitcoin. If you've seen my video before, talking about circulating supplies of anything, whether it's diamonds, gold, houses, Bitcoin, doesn't matter. The supply matters because the more of it, the less valuable it is. It's only 21 million Bitcoin, right? 900 produced every day. That's getting cut in half by, uh, cut in half, not uh, yeah, uh, to 450 because it's 900 and that, and, and every four years. So the next four years, it'll get cut out to like, two, uh, would that be 225, then 100 and 12.5 after that. And it just keep going down and down and down, right? Um, so yeah, that's the whole logic of Bitcoin. And the more money goes up, it goes into it, it's gonna go up because it's a little supply. And the, the, the daily supply is very little. You know, if you do 900 times 70,000, that's around like 20, 30 million dollars. So if they're buying more than 20, 30 million dollars worth of Bitcoin, I mean, the price has nothing else but to go up. And you know, these ETFs, like we were talking about on my other video, Bitcoin ETS, see it popped up? 
see all these, the best B ETFs. So they have all these ETFs you can buy now, meaning the stock market and all these banks and institutions and countries and stuff can buy Bitcoin now, which is crazy. So if Bitcoin got to 70,000 without none of that, how high do you think it can go? And the supply is about to get cut in half. That should tell you a lot. So anyways, Bitcoin's at 71,000. This is crazy, y'all. Can't believe it's gonna be a 72, 73, 80, eventually, 100K eventually. Oh yeah, so like I said, price prediction. What do we think we're going through this cycle, this four year cycle, all right? Man, I don't know. I think Bitcoin might be able to make it to 250 to 300,000, but the way it's looking, could go even higher, man. It could go even higher, but I'm thinking about 250,000. That's the, that's the spot I'm gonna go because that's the that's what I said a while ago. Because I I could I could pull up some some proof. Like I got family that I didn't talk to about this. You know, I didn't told them at this price. I got family. I got people. I could, when it was at this price, people was on some. Oh, what price you think it's going to? Looked them dead in the eyes and was like, Oh, it'll be at 250,000 in in 2025 they couldn't believe it the fact that it's already right here should tell you that i was on track and it's probably might even do better than i thought so i don't know man we'll see so could it could be i don't know but it looks like it could outdo what i said you know what i'm saying i'll probably throw a little proof in here maybe maybe not i don't know but like I said, I said at this price, it was going to 250000 But I also said a lot of other price predictions, about a lot of other coins, but I'll give you those price predictions. And as you see, a year and a half later, or less than a year and a half later, it's already at 70000 because I know the nature of Bitcoin. As I said, I understand the circulating supply. I understand it can't, it can't do nothing but go up. I actually know what I'm talking about, as you guys can see. But my point is this, though. I think it's going to 250000 this cycle because I said that already. But if I was to recant and, and actually give another one, I think it could go as high as... I'm not saying it's going to do it. I'm going to give y'all a little, like, you know, enthusiasm. I don't even, It might not even go this high, but I'm thinking it can go higher than 250000 but it might be able to reach as high as... Who knows? It can go as high as 400000 in this cycle. It could. The way it's looking right now, we got another year until the... We got three months into, uh, one month into the halving, right? And usually it doesn't peak until a year after. So, you know, it could go as high as 400 down, but I'm, I'm not going, you know, don't quote me. I'm going to just stick what I said, 250, but it could go that high. Like I'm saying it could go that high because think about it. Last cycle, it went from 3,000 all the way to 70,000. So you got to think about that. If it went from 3,000 to 70,000, in a matter of a few months, who's to say it can't go from, you know, here to there? And it's not even at the having yet. This was like, yeah, like at the having or something like that. So it's the same thing. But I'm just saying it can happen. I'm not saying it's going to happen. It can happen. But what I am going to say is I, I'm pretty sure it's going to go to at least $200, $250. You feel me? Yeah. That's what it's looking like for sure. If I was to guess. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Whatever. One thing I can tell you I'm not wrong about is crypto being the future of banking and the next layer of the internet. That's what I'm not wrong about. This is not financial advice. Do your own research. You know what I'm saying? Bitcoin doing this thing. You know what I'm saying? Bitcoin big dog out here. <sighs> Remember that. It's your new, your new banking system right here, y'all. We got to learn about it. I'm a teacher, though. They're going to be back in, you know, if you ain't seen these presidential candidates, been president, presidential candidates talking about they want to back the dollar on Bitcoin. I ain't the one, only one. If you, if countries are starting to back the, you know, you never know how high this is. Go. Let's see. Um, I think it was John F. Kennedy Jr. Let me see. Presidential president. I'm going to take the cap lock off, right? Candidates. Talk about Bitcoin. Boom. 
seven presidential candidates have dropped clues about Bitcoin. What does this tell y'all, y'all? This is the future. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. This is the future. So this is the kind of stuff you got to look up, you know, look for. You know, they're not telling you this kind of stuff for no reason. This is America. They don't just seven presidential candidates talk about something and be like, yeah, maybe I'm going to back the dollar on the Bitcoin. And you, they got different candidates saying what they're going to do with Bitcoin. So well, we're going to make the, the treasury, you know, start buying big or, or, you know, all these different things. I'm not saying that that's exactly what they're saying. I'm just saying like they're talking about, they're for sure talking about backing the dollar on Bitcoin, a few presidential candidates, but I'm saying they're talking big money, billions and trillions of dollars. Do you, you think, you think uh, the United States is talking about, uh, a million dollars? No, they're talking about billions and trillions of dollars. Okay? That's what they're talking about. So, only thing this can do is go up from here. I'm not saying it can't go down, obviously. But over the mom, the next 10 to 20 years, this is the thing you want to be buying. Anything can go down in a little bit of time. I'm not talking about in two years or three years. If you keep buying this for the next 10 years, put $5 a day. Something like that, $5 a day. You know what I'm saying? You know, $10 a day for the next 10 years. You will definitely have a lot of money. Imagine if you was buying Apple stock, like I told y'all in my last video. Watch this. Imagine you was buying Apple stock back in the 1990s, right? Let's say Apple stock, right? Go to Google. Because I, like I like to go to Google. The real Google, right? <laughs> okay. Apple. Stock price and I, I was just looking this up. See what it say? It was thirty one cent, y'all. Thirty one cent, and we know that Apple is something. It's technology that we still use today. That, that's what Bitcoin is. I already explained to y'all. It's technology. It's the most secure network in the world because it's using millions of computers around the world, not just one set of computers like Apple or Amazon or Google, uh, uh, Amazon Web Services or Google Cloud Services, are giving you your internet or giving you your all your apps and everything that you do even your banking system is ran on all of that imagine if it was ran on blockchain blockchain technology and, and um using all the computers around the world right instead of just one in one room and they can control and see all the stuff and you can't see nothing and you're not getting no money you know the reason why apple is able to make so much money is because they control all the all the resources and the data if, you, if they give it back to the people which is bitcoin we can make money and we can get rich off of it. And yeah, so that's basically the whole thing about it. So this is like getting an Apple back in like 1990. You see, this is 31 cent, right? Let's go to Apple price today. $170. If I told you, you can buy one Apple stock for 70, what was it, 30 cents? And it was going to be worth the $170. I'm, I was born in about 1990, uh, a little couple years later, but you get what I'm saying? I was born in the 90s. I'm, I'm a 90 fo baby, okay? Do the math. You feel me? <laughs> anyway, so, yeah. So, you feel me? Like, if you were an older dude at the time and you were just like, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that was like, it's like 50 or 60 right now. Like, yeah, 1990, no one, no longer. Okay, well, you would be a multi-millionaire or a billionaire if you were just buying $5 a day, $10 a day, $20 a day. So, this is the point. Listen, please, right? Not financial advice. Do your own research. Anyways, but seriously, do your own research. Like, I mean that. Like, please. <laughs> like, yeah, because this is serious, y'all. Please do your own research. Because this is like, I can't, le you know, it's legality to all of this. But please do your own research, okay? This is not financial advice, but believe me. Okay, do your, yeah, figure this out. This is what you want to do, okay? So, sorry for all that. Let me get back on track. It's a little late, you know? But yeah, y'all, this is cool. 10 Bitcoin at 71,000. Can't believe it, like I said. I've been in this for a while. Seen it go from here all the way down here. People asking me what I'm thinking it's gonna go to and I told them what I thought it was gonna go to. So that's how you know I believe in this. So you know, um, and I'm gonna show some proof of <laughs> how long I've been in this. Maybe show like a maybe when I bought my first crypto or something, so you can see. But yeah, I'm gonna show you some proof. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna throw some proof in here. Maybe do a whole video about it. But yeah, obviously, if you know me, you know I'm telling the truth. I matter of fact, I got a video on it. Matter of fact, oh, I have to to prove. That's how you know I'm a real. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay. 
I'm gonna show you right now. I ain't gonna play with you. I'm gonna just show you. I got a YouTube video from three years ago talking about my wig. So, didn't even think about it. I could just show you. On the same channel, I'm gonna post this on. I just be forgetting. But it was so long ago, and I ain't did it since then. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm good to it though. But, I just, I'm not the best in the world at this now. Hold on, y'all. I gotta get to the video. Here they go. Hold on. Your videos. Here we go. I'm being a crypto with this little YouTube. Shout out to my to my wife for editing these videos. All them video edits, that's her. Gotta give my baby her credit. That's not me. That's my baby. I love my queen. My black queen for sure. All right. Now let's get to that. Let me show y'all. Y'all see this video right there? Stock market right here. You see this? It says stock market for beginners. Black economics. Um, that was like, I'm going to change the channel up a little bit, you know, as y'all can see, this is my video that I was talking about and the, oh yeah, the, um, the camera had cut off y'all. So I just, I'm just doing like this. I'm in the video here, but as you can see, this is my video talking about even three years ago, I was already on this, like I told y'all, and this is on the same channel as you can see. But I'm going to switch up the channel a little bit. Like I said, you know, back then it was uh, focused on black history and black economics. Now we just focus on straight up economics. You know what I'm trying to say? Like we're going to focus on just crypto, really. Not even just economics. This is like, this was a stock video. And like me telling black people how to like get into the stock market, like Dr. Boyce Watkins, stuff like that. Uh, you know, shout out Dr. Boyce Watkins. Um uh, he is a big person um, on YouTube that got me into finance. If you know Dr. Boyce Watkins, shout out to you. He's a, yeah, all right, he's a legend in this. He's a finance expert, a black man that got a lot of black people into finance because we needed to. And that's kind of what pushed me into this because I understood, like, you know, a whole lot of stuff about history, you know? It is, you know, obvious stuff, right? So. That's kind of like what pushed me into this and I got good at it. So, you know, shout out to Dr. Boyce Watkins. Also, shout out to BitBoy Crypto. You know, he also got me into, uh, you know, a lot about crypto. See, he got me in the stock market. Um, um, Dr. Boyce, BitBoy Crypto got me in the crypto and like Altcoin Daily. So, shout out to BitBoy Crypto and Altcoin Daily. Uh, you know, stock market was like kind of like a segue into the crypto market. But like I said, yeah, shout out to BitBoy Crypto, our coin daily. And yeah, they ain't shit for still your channel, BitBoy Crypto. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you for bouncing back. Uh, yeah, shout out Dr. Ifa Tunde. You feel me? So yeah, shout out all the, all the goats out there. So yeah, this is my queen right here. My beautiful queen. You already know. I ain't clicked it. Click this video right here for me back. So we can show how I was looking. This three years ago. Like the, those are the people that label the Donald Trump, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, you know, these are the kind of people that have all this money in the world. They the ones that they the ones that label stocks blue chip stocks because they know that they're safe. So you can best believe these people ain't about to lose their money. So that is a definition of a blue chip stock. And you can Google blue chip. You can't put it on Robinhood or any of the apps that you buy stocks from. I would use Robinhood because that's what I use. Uh, Weebles is good too. I hear M1 Finance. I don't know. It's a lot of Please pause real quick. I use Robinhood. So so I use Coinbase now, y'all. By the way, I have to say that. I ain't want to like, you know. Yeah, so I use Coinbase now. You can, you can push play. Shout out Robinhood though. Robin on, still Robin, on no thing, you, on no app you can search blue chip stocks. You have to search the actual company like and Walmart, Robinhood, Apple, uh, Disney. It yeah, has stocks and crypto. Coinbase stock, only has so crypto. Realty, so that's why obviously I'm using Coinbase. Think about getting into a stock market where all of these professionals. But anyways, yeah, anything, it, it, I've been doing this, y'all. Like, okay, I've been doing this, y'all. Anyway, uh, this is the end of the video. So they've already peace listed everything that you should be you know, invested in, and you can see. Okay, y'all, as y'all can see, as I was editing this video, Bitcoin went to, 
The price is seventy two thousand. It was around thirty minutes ago, but I was editing this video. Or I, or she, uh, my queen was editing this video. <laughs> I was thank you, babe. You're welcome. But yeah, when we were editing this video, she was, you know. But yeah, that's what's going on. And as that was going on, uh, Bitcoin did some more stuff. Can you believe it? There it is. So yeah, I have to get that in there. So we're gonna throw this in there real quick before we put this video up. It's gonna keep going higher and higher, y'all. Trust me. It could be at 75, 80 soon, you know what I mean? But yeah, I already gave my price prediction, so it's gonna go a lot higher than it is, obviously. Because the halving has not even happened yet. That's next month. Anyways, yep. 72,000. I got it. I think I got like, uh, I'm gonna show it on Coinbase a little better. So you can see the number, y'all. <laughs> you know, I'll probably put a little Coinbase action on there so you can see it. It's really cool, y'all. 